So there's this new boot strapper out, like it's called Lucy Strap. I do not know if I pronounced that right. It's like it's, it's like a safer version of Void Strap because Void Strap itself recently got exposed for being malware. Someone made a Google document containing all the proof that it's a malware, so I'll leave a link down to that Google document in the description. I don't know who made it, so if you do know who made it, please let me know so I can give them some credit. And I'll also leave a link in the description to like the place where you download Lucy Strap because it's not very popular yet. No one's made a video about it. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, the first thing you want to do is you just want to join my Discord server. I'll leave an invite to it in the description. So, first when you join, you gotta verify. So, after you verify, like, you gotta go to this channel. You'll be, you'll first see this channel and you just click verify and that's it. And then you can see all the channels. So, for Lucy's trap, you just want to go to the announcements channel. So right here I made the announcement that Void Strap is malware. And like this is the download link for Lucy Strap. So you just go to this website. It's it's a GitHub page, like all the other uh, bootstrappers. So just go to this page. And so when you click on the link, you'll be sent to this GitHub page. As of now, this is the latest version, 1.4.5. And, and you just want to scroll down to here, like, to the latest version that you want to, like, just click on this. And that'll download. It might say unverified download, but just say download unverified file. And that'll download. I don't got downloaded because I already have it, so I'll just cancel. And, uh, so once you get Lucy Strap downloaded, it should give you this menu. First, you just want to go to configure settings, and uh, so you just want to go to integrations. And I personally just have this and this enabled. These two, this is just personal preference at the moment, and so is this. this is all personal preference. Multi instance launching, I have this enabled because I use multiple accounts at once. And Bootstrapper, you if you use multi instance launching yourself as well, I recommend you enable this. And this is just personal preference, background updates, I, I recommend you enable this because when you, whenever you launch Roblox, it, it'll update before you launch Roblox, so you don't have to wait for the update. And for cleaner, I like to have, to, like, have this set to after one day and enable cache, logs, and Lucy strap logs. Then in deployment, I like to have automatically update Lucy strap enabled then Roblox upgrades enabled don't touch any of this I do not recommend touching them and then uh, fast flags we go right here so there's two editors this is the one that will not get you banned if you use this but this editor it has very few fast flags only a couple as you can see here and I'll share a link in the description for these fast flags, but if you go to this IXP editor, it says against TOS, which can ban your account, but there, no one's been banned yet, but even if someone has been banned, there's no proof behind the ban. So if you go here, you can see there's way more fast flags, because this can bypass it. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description for this, this fast flags as these fast flags as well. And then of course you gotta enable this, otherwise none of these will work. And then in presets, if you just wanna make sure they're set to the best things possible, mesh detail, enable it. And then I just like to have this set to lowest quality. MSAA, I, yeah, so I just set that to one. Uh, preserve rendering quality with display scaling, I have it enabled. FRM quality override, enable that, and then just set it to the lowest, lowest quality. Rendering mode, if you're on a newer Windows 11 PC, I like to have it set to DirectX 11, it gives the best FPS in my opinion. 
you can test other ones as well but in my opinion if you don't want to go to the all the trouble of testing each and one of them just go with drug 311 it's the best dexter quality level zero lowest gives the best fps of course disable grass of course have it enabled that's pretty much everything in the fast flags category so now you just want to go to global settings Enable read only so Roblox will not change the settings for just about to change Graphics quality of course set it to the lowest which is 1 you just slide this all the way down Frame rate limit set it to whatever your refresh rate is mine is 100 but I like to have a little overhead so I set it to 103 Transparency this is really personal preference but I set it to the max because I can see more like behind all the menus, I can still see the game. Reduce motion, I have it enabled because I don't like all the animations Roblox has, but it's really personal preference. And then these two, they're just just leave them be. You don't have to touch them unless you want to change your mouse sensitivity. I just use one. VR enabled, I of course have it off. And then you just want to go to Windows Tweaks. Performance tweaks enable enable Roblox high priority. That that may give you higher performance. I do not know for sure. Enable ultimate performance power plan. Of course you can enable it. I use a different power plan that's as good as this, so I don't have it enabled. System tweaks. So you want to have all of these enabled. Core, disable CPU core parking enabled. Disable GPU telemetry enabled. Optimize network traffic enabled. Set cloud for DNS to 1.1.1. It explains down here what that does. Just have it enabled. That's pretty much about it. So just just hit save and then save and launch. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. Also, don't don't forget to join my Discord. I share more fast flags and other content in it. I will make more videos about them in the near future, I don't know when, but there's a lot more content I can release soon, uh, which I hope to do soon. So, if you enjoyed this video, just please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me out. It motivates me like, to go further, like make more content for you guys. I know this is the first video that is long form, but still, you know, I'd appreciate it. Oh, I just filled that jump. Oh god. Anyways, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.